You guys are about to go into the game. Going live now. We are live. And hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Yep, this is Mr. Live from NVOT uh, here with Paul Kim, uh, NVOT alumnus and original member of the NVOT eSport team. Joined with us today is actually Paris Escobar, president of NVD eSports. Their program just began this year. Hello. Yeah, Paris, how has it been actually starting up a eSports program at, at uh, Northern Valley Demarest? Actually, it's been pretty. Um, it's been pretty eventful, I'd say. It's certainly a process, but I think that it's really rewarding. Uh, just seeing the amount of people interested in the club and um, the community, like around, like the gaming community, just in general. It's really, honestly, it's just a fascinating place, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm. That's actually great to hear. We've been really excited here at Northern Valley Old Japan to actually wait for you guys to set up a team so we could start actually having matches against each other. And now look at where we are. You know, it's, it's finally happening. And it's uh, honestly, I think that this is great, not only just because, you know, we're sister schools and everything else, but I think that it could really just bring a different set of kids together as a whole to just enjoy something a lot bigger than themselves. Yeah, Paul, how does this make you feel having been one of the original eSport members that represented us back in 2021 spring season? I think it's uh, pretty awesome just uh, watching like the eSports uh, scene just grow in general. Um, I remember like there was always big rivalries between like NVOT and NVD, especially in like our football games. Like I like it was a pretty friendly rivalry. So like no like bad blood i would say between the two schools but like yeah i just like it's just like another way to like see um the two schools compete and it's just like so like refreshing and exciting to see especially considering that uh league of legends was like one of my first games and like watching these students play like like my game in a sense <laughs> yeah and now we get to bring this competition into the eSport arena, uh, the game of many of our childhoods and many of our students actually, uh, pa like many of their favorite pastimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still remember the humble beginnings of starting eSports in the middle of the pandemic in a Zoom room. Yes, I remember that very well. Yeah, and yeah, it's amazing to actually see both of you guys here. Yes. Right. Thank you so much for having me. So, in our first official collaboration, I just wanted to let every one of our new viewers actually know that we are creating this stream today in order to actually help new players understand how League of Legends works. So, right now, they are currently in something called a draft phase, where the different members of the teams are going to actually be picking uh, champions to represent themselves in this battle arena uh, for League of Legends. So, on the blue side, uh, let me introduce our members on the blue side. So, from the top, you could say, see, playing Pike is, uh, playing Pike is Faced Worm, who is Youngjun, uh, Youngjun Bay from NBOT. And then next up would be Jin, uh, being played by Him Sam Park. Finally, we have Big Poppy, who is, uh, who is playing Renekton, and that would be Kelvin Ung. July Yi is Daniel Yi, who has yet to select his champion, and Sup is not a tool, is uh, Wang Jae uh, J Song. So this would be the blue team, am I correct? Yes. All right, Paris, would you like to introduce your team? Yeah, of course. Uh, so right now... Um, the characters that we do have currently, <laughs> um, we have Morgana being played by Amber Prince. Um, Amber is actually, um, that's actually Aiden. Um, and then we have Kane, who's being played by Aaron. And Zyra's being played by River. Uh, right now, we're just waiting for the other two players 
Zyshade. His name is Patrick. And, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Amber Prince is Grayson. Shuby is, um, Aiden. But, yeah, we're just waiting on Aiden and Patrick to choose and also ban. Um... Should be pretty fun. I think that they're very excited. A little nervous, but I'm sure that that's like the excitement of like the first game and everything else. Yeah, and once again, so if you're just tuning in, you're going to notice that once the characters are all picked, during the game, you're going to actually be able to see the names of the characters that the different members of our respective esports teams have chosen. And we will be referring to both either the uh, student with the character name to help you understand who is currently accomplishing what on screen. So to help the beginners who are actually unaware of what League of Legends is all about, it is a battle arena where five, uh, five people will be playing different champions these would be the characters that you uh, see being selected right now against another set of champions their goal is to destroy the opposing base which is a large crystalline structure across on the opposite side of the map one side of the map will clearly be shown as blue with blue structures and on the opposing side is going to be red structures and the goal is for one side to actually get enough strength and defeat the opposing team so that they can continuously find ways to destroy objectives. Objectives would be the structures in the game because every building and every tower that defends the main crystal structure that goes down is another step closer to victory. Uh, Paul Kim and Paris, uh, Paris will actually be respectively using their expertise to actually help us actually explain to you what is happening on a play-by-play uh, -play basis where Paul is our resident expert in League of Legends. Paul, what rank are you right now? Um, I am currently gold one. And what was your peak? Uh, I was, I believe, plat three. All right. Um, do you know what percentile that actually falls into being plat three back in the day? Uh, I believe that I was, that would be around, I'd say, like the top five percent maybe wow top five percent yeah about got it also That's did something easy. actually happen with the game just now let me check with my team i will be right back yeah you no clue seems that there is a tech issue going on with the game hopefully it will it will be resolved soon sorry about that guys it seems like that there was a league of legends client crash and when that happens, unfortunately, they're going to actually have to select your heroes again, um, gradually, bit by bit. Garden State Esports actually requires them to pick the same heroes. So no worries. It just means that Paul, me, and Paris are going to be your night's worth of entertainment for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> no pressure, Paris. No pressure, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. So... All right, what we want to actually uh, let everyone, once again, if you're tuning in right now, uh, we just want to, once again, let you know that this stream is going to be set up in a way to be as beginner-friendly as possible. So we are going to be explaining, once again, the objectives of the game, how this game is about uh, champions battling it out with each other as they try to acquire more gold through the takedown of uh, computer-generated monsters and from the takedown of opposing heroes. Every time this actually occurs, they are going to actually acquire gold that they could spend on items, which makes them more powerful. And when a team finally gets powerful enough to fully destroy the opposing team, uh, they are able to easily take objectives and potentially destroy the opposing base. So um, this is going to be the first time we actually get to see a live stream event between the two of our schools. Paris, actually, how long have you been playing League of Legends for? 
Honestly, I wouldn't even say that I play League of Legends. It's more like I dabble. I like just playing all kinds of games, at least trying them out once. Um, I used to play a little bit more on my phone just because it was more convenient, but I kind of stopped having a lot of time. However, I'm hoping to probably like get in get back into it. Hopefully maybe play a match. We'll see. I am on the roster as a sub if need be. So, what? No, I love it. Like representing uh, your school, trying to actually help out wherever you can. Okay. It's actually uh, important because Garden State Esports actually has a policy. If uh, a team has to forfeit due to having not enough players, that's actually a heavy penalty invoked upon the school. It could result in a full season for, uh, forfeiture for the following year. Yeah, I absolutely do not want that. So I, I kind of just figured at the very least I'm here. I'm learning more about the characters. Um, and I want to be able to have more of like a connection with the team, uh, just all of them in general. And hopefully they could teach me little by little um, how to play the game a little bit more, get more comfortable with the controls, and just familiarize myself with everything that needs to be familiarized with. Yeah, that's great. It reminds me of my own esports story. And for those of you wondering, Paul is actually the person you are seeing on camera right now. We have a very, very early uh, setup of our live streaming program. So that is why you are unable to currently see Paris or me on screen, because I believe Paul's only able to actually pull up his own video uh, without being able to actually pull up ours. So uh, yeah, Paul, wave to the camera for us. Hello. <laughs> yep. But um, we are actually also in our respective buildings uh, live streaming. And one day, hopefully, we are going to be able to actually pull up our cameras as well. But yeah, Paris, I love hearing your story because I actually started uh, esports and playing League of Legends after having sworn off the game from a very long time ago. And I felt like I did that because I noticed just how passionate our students were in wanting to be able to start up the esports program. So when I actually discovered that, I decided that the best way to experience what they were going through as they tried to uh, learn more about this game and compete against anonymous strangers online was to actually go and try this game out for myself again. And uh, Paris, what is your understanding of the uh, gaming culture behind League of Legends? Honestly... Just when I hear League of Legends, the first thing I think about are those ads that always popped up on YouTube, like, do you want to play a game? Um, and I, I don't know. It's, yeah. Honestly, um, I feel like the promotion for League of Legends has been really great, like a ton of music from tons of popular artists. It's honestly really cool to just see. And for me, that's kind of how I was introduced to League of Legends, more than like my friends or any of the media that like I watch TikTok anything else it was mostly just the music that started trending on TikTok um and I kind of became interested in it I wanted to see what the songs were about like what the game was about so gradually I kind of just started like entering into that realm for League of Legends yeah, I want to give a shout out to Arcane. That was a Netflix show that was popularizing League of Legends by using the world of League of Legends in a beautifully created show. Did you ever watch it, Paul? Or Paris? Arcane? Arcane, yes. Greatest, one of the greatest shows I've ever witnessed. Absolutely beautiful. I, I fully agree. If you haven't checked out Arcane on Netflix, I highly recommend it. This is not a sponsored show. We are not actually getting any money from the makers of Arcane to say this. It is just that good. So thank you for those of you who are actually tuning in to actually watch what's going on. Once again, if you are just tuning in and you are listening to what's happening in this broadcast, uh, this is a beginner-friendly broadcast, and you will hear us repeat over and over again the main goals of League of Legends. So we are not going to focus on heavy strategy, but our goal is to help you be able to cheer for your friends who are currently competing in this eSport arena. So we are going to once again be referring to the character names and reminding you how this game actually works once the game begins. So in the meantime, when game clients crash, like what happened five minutes ago, Paul, me, and Paris will be your night's worth of entertainment. This is Mr. Lai from NBOT. Paris, uh, can you introduce yourselves again? Because I see plenty of people jumping in and jumping out. Yeah, hi, my name is Paris. I'm from NVD, and uh, I started the esports club this year. Very excited for it. Yep, and Paul? 
Uh, hello, I, my name is Paul. I am a NVOT alumni. Um, I was part of the original esports team, oh, and it looks like we are about to jump in game here. So bear All with right. me as we transition here. Is that a countdown I see coming up? Here we go. So the first it's official joint game between NBOT and Northern Valley Demarest. Sister schools at it against each other. So let's actually see how this turns out. Uh, I'm going to actually speak for NBOT briefly, but NBOT is a multi second place finisher in Garden State Esports against all the other schools in New Jersey. And NBD is a uh, fledgling new program that we are hoping is going to bring some amazing challengers to uh, against into the New Jersey scene. So yeah, Paris, how's your team feeling about the uh, being in the upcoming fall season of Garden State Esports? Honestly, they're all very excited about it. Um, they've never been part of anything like this before, so I think that they're just really excited to see where it goes. Um, we we had our first meeting like as a group, as a team, the other day, and it was really lovely to see everyone just kind of click, even though they are from different like social groups or like different backgrounds. But they just all connect on this one thing that brings them together, and it's just such a nice thing to see. It's very refreshing just seeing that around school and knowing that like a community just as simple as playing video games like can actually bring people together and give them a sense of community outside of other things. Yeah, so this is it's exciting once again just being able to see both of our schools finally be able being able to come together, being able to actually celebrate uh, this esports scene. I know we've been waiting for you guys for a little bit to actually finally pop up onto the scene, and I wish you guys the best of luck in this upcoming year. Thank you so much. Same to you guys. All right. So I can see that people are popping in and popping out, and as this game gets started, so right now what you are seeing is the champions being picked by our fellow, uh, by the respective members of NBOT and. Uh, Demarest. So if you take a look, I believe in red uh, is Northern Valley Demarest. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So on the bottom is Northern Valley Demarest. On the top in blue would be Old Japan. And red and blue symbolize the different sides that the schools are playing on. Paul, can you explain a little bit more about uh, how League of Legends works? Okay. So League of Legends, as we... Um load into the game here we seem to be having a little bit of difficulty but um league of legends is essentially a five versus five game where you choose five champions or your characters and you essentially try to become stronger as the game progresses in order to take down the enemy nexus or base it's essentially you can think of it as a strategy tower defense game with a lot of moving parts. Yeah, so my uh, when Paul describes that... Uh, well, actually, before that, Paul, when we look at the screen right now, is there a client issue? Do we yeah, need to do I, a restart? I, I will try restarting the stream. Uh, not the stream. The um... Sounds good. As Paul does that, yes, League of Legends is... Uh, is ultimately a game about taking objectives where the players are those moving parts that Paul just mentioned. The players are going to be actually moving across the map, trying to find good times to be able to take down opponents. But ultimately, the goal in the game is for them to be able to take down computer-generated monsters as well as opposing players to gain gold. Every time they are able to actually acquire a takedown, they are going to get a certain amount of gold added to their character oh, and go. that gold can then be actually spent on uh be spent on buying powerful items that will allow them to have even better fights going forward this is sometimes known as a snowball effect like how a snowball as it rolls it becomes bigger and bigger and it seems like this game has already gotten started even at level one Paul, what is happening right now? Uh, so currently, there seems to have been a little trade in between the uh, red and the blue sides. Um, it seems that the Blitzcrank has suffered a bit of damage here, but he will be able to leave and retain his life. So no gold given over to the blue side. And it's, All right. 
as a reminder in this game, the blue side is NVOT. Red side is Northern Valley Demarest. So, uh, on the bottom lane from NVOT, you would actually be having Wanjae Song and Ooh, looks Wanjae like Song something's breaking out here. Lee. But Zyra will flash away. Ooh, Zyra did make it away with that flash. If you saw that golden flash, that is a teleportation ability that characters can use to escape dangerous situations. Uh, you can only use it once every four minutes, I believe. I believe it's five. So it is something you should use five? Five yes. minutes. Yeah. And the game does not go on that long, so when you lose that, you are at risk of getting, uh, getting killed. Indeed. So we can see a little skirmish going on between the different lanes. Paul, why don't you pick one lane for us to actually focus on and then uh, uh, jump to a lane if you think there's a fight actually okay, going look, off. There's a fight going Ooh. on right here, and it seems that Zyra has been taken down in a quick fashion by this Jin pike combo. Now Jin will be recalling to spend that gold that he just earned from taking down that Zyra. And as we follow, let's see this pike. Looks like he's going in for some deep vision. Yeah, as a reminder, uh, if you're just tuning in right now, because I do see the viewership constantly changing around, uh, the goal of the game is, once again, for the players to be able to get more powerful. The way they get more powerful is by acquiring gold from these computer-generated monsters or from taking down a opposing character. So, we could see right now NVOT being slightly up on NVD. Paris, how's your team feeling? How are their nerves uh, coming into this first match of the season? Honestly, um, right now I think that they're just a little, <laughs> they're definitely a little <laughs> scared, I'd say. But for the most part, I think that they're just trying to come up with a good enough strategy just to like counterattack and just where they want to go. But for the most part, right now they're handling themselves pretty well, just trying to see where it goes. Yeah, I, I love that enthusiasm, just once again, uh, putting themselves out there. Oh, there's a little skirmish going on over here. This might be a takedown. This and Renekton will take down the Jax. Flash is used on both characters. Now, Renekton. Yeah, so once again, oh. once again, Flash is that teleportation ability you saw in that sparkle of yellow. When you use it, you uh, cannot use it again for five minutes. So this puts Renekton at risk in the future for if the opposing ally wishes to actually come up top to try to take him down. But Renekton, played by Youngjun Park, uh, Youngjun Bay, is looking very strong right now. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, it seems like Youngjun is deciding to take that uh, hard won gold right back to base to be able to improve upon his character. He is playing Renekton, a uh, I believe it is a alligator de uh, deity of chaos. And you could look at the items he just bought a very, very powerful iron spike whip that Paul is showcasing right now. This is going to actually make his character that much stronger than the opposing Jax, who you could see in top lane. Yeah, so once again, this is a beginner level stream. So for those of you who are uh, coming in, we are going to try to explain how it is that League of Legends works. And Paul is just going to move us between different lanes to be able to showcase what is going on. Yep. Well, uh, since it is the early laning phase, ooh, looks like there's another fight happening in the bot lane. Blitzcrank running away. Kane here to fight back. Pike looks like he's been in a little bit of trouble, but will eventually dash out. And it seems that nothing else will go down. And... So that is a 3v2. As we just said, sometimes allies are going to actually travel right across the line in order to actually, uh, right across the river. Uh, that river is the big blue strip that uh, goes right diagonally across the map. And when they walk down the river, they could easily try to assist an ally and take somebody down. But it seems like another takedown might be actually happening here. No, Jax is actually backing off, which is a smart move. Uh, will Jax actually take the risk of staying here at such a low health? It seems like he will be trying to stay to get some experience. But it does seem that this Amumu is in this top side. Will be close to this Kane. Will Kane spot him out? Yes, he does. Now they oh. just... 
back goes in this is an Kane. interesting position amumu catching Kane with his mummy wrap amumu is a little mummy inside of a knight outfit right now uh the players of the games are able to pick skins for their characters and oh is there something actually happening on top no so you can see right now in the early game of League of Legends, people are going to constantly be focusing on taking down these computer-generated minions while also uh, doing small battles with each other. Ooh, looks over like the fight's breaking again. out, and Renekton will just take down the Jax. Easy as that. Um... Yeah, Renekton is looking extremely strong right now with two takedowns on his opponent. This puts him at a gold, um, a gold advantage because every time he kills a opponent's main hero he is able to actually make gold from these minions as well as from the hero takedown meanwhile you can see the tower actually removing the gold source of blue minions away from Jax, the purple opponent that renekton uh was playing against so Jax is now coming back to lane to once again try to get as much gold as he can while renekton is going to put all that money back it looks like we have something happening here. Paul, can you explain what is going on with this creature? So currently, this um, this creature uh, looks like a dragon, because it is a dragon. Um, they are neutral objectives that um, is often the goal is to take down this monster, as it will give a slight buff to your team, depending on which kind of dragon it is. Currently, is it an ocean dragon? So it will give... Uh, missing health back to each character and looks like there's another fight breaking on the top but it will just be a slight trade Renekton will back off so yes back to the dragons um, they provide buffs to the team if taken down so the goal is for the jungler um, in this case this cane this shadowy uh, man and the uh, mumu the uh, little mummy knight um, their main objective is to take down these neutral monsters that you can see there's one that was just taken down here there's another hidden in the fog here and then there are many more camps dispersed throughout the map and they will yes take down these um these monsters in order to gain gold so if you're just tuning in right now welcome to the stream this is going to be a beginner friendly stream where we remind you of how the game of league of legend works this is known as the early game of League of Legends. Oh, a fight seems to be breaking out. And looks like LeBlanc will be taken down by the Kane and Morgana duo. And yes. Yeah, so as that happens, if you actually uh, look to the top of this display, you could actually see NVOT having four kills while NVD only has one kill. And when you actually take a look, uh, takedowns in League of Legends are called kills Ooh. seems like a fight's happening on top Renekton Kane was trying be... to take down the Renekton but the Renekton's too strong yes indeed very strong early game champion he is seems like yeah, Jungjun Bay is holding his own in top lane indeed Looks like there's often another... times if it's a two versus one in League of Legends it is uh, going to put the person who is by himself at a extreme disadvantage but young jun bay playing so well with renekton getting three hero takedowns and having killed 72 generated computer monsters for gold puts him in the lead in this game it looks like a fight's breaking down in bot lane now okay a one for one trade right now going through but Jin on the back foot here with half of his health bar missing and yeah, it will seem like there will be a one-for-one -one trade here. The supports both taken down. And Zyro will just be pushing in this wave. So if you just tuned in, the goal in this game, in the beginning, is for heroes to once again try to get as much gold as they can by killing computer-generated monsters and opposing uh, creatures in top lane, Paul. What is happening there? Ooh, it seems like there's a bit of a dive going on. There's a 3v3 situation. Okay, Big Poppy will take down the Jax, and Space Worm will take down Iron Boss. Big and... Poppy bike is Kelvin Ung. Yes. Okay, Morgana flashed away. 
from the All fleet. right. The first tower is being taken down right now. So in this game, each one of those towers is worth money for the entire opposing team. So the blue team just made an enormous amount of money by taking down that uh, tower. Meanwhile, it also makes it so that the opposing team, red, Northern Valley Demarest, doesn't have that tower to actually protect them anymore right now. So in the top lane, uh, an NVOT is going to be able to actually wander in the top jungle in order to actually find better opportunities to take down NVD players. So taking down towers is extremely important because every time uh, at one tower is taken down, there's only three towers in each one of these lanes, top, middle, and bottom, before you get to the main base. And the goal of League of Legends is to take down the main base structure. So in bot lane, it looks like a fight. Yep, that would be the main base structure, that crystal line structure right over there. Thank you, Paul. All right. Paris, what are you thinking about the current state of this game? It's looking tough for Demer first. Honestly, I think that right now, well, I'm very entertained with the game, first off. It's really nice to see, like, both schools going head-to-head. -head. Um, right now, I feel like um, I'm personally just going to see and... Oh, Paris, we're going to watch this fight for a moment, Paul. Ooh, NVD will Demarest. take down. Yes, they will take down the... Uh... Paris, your team heard you right there. They're t trying to take some take some wins back right there. Yeah, I yeah. think that they're just trying to build some momentum right now. Yeah. Picking it up a little bit. Okay, the Zyro will be caught. Flashes over the wall, gets away, but will be flashed upon as well and taken down in the end. NVD responds with a kill, but NVOT responds back with two. All right, so this game is a uphill battle for Northern Valley Demarest right now. You can actually see the state of the game if you look at the gold on the top of the screen. When you look up, oh, another fight's breaking out right yeah, now. This might be another out. takedown for Northern Valley Demarest. Yeah, Renekton will heal a little bit, but he oh. will be taken down in the end. Kane. Young Jun almost being able to actually take down that cane that you see right there. Who's playing cane right now, uh, Paris? Uh, cane right now is being uh, played by Aaron. Aaron? And yeah. how do you know Aaron? How long have you known Aaron from the esports club? Honestly, I've seen him around. He's in marching band, but uh, he decided to join the League of Legends team. Um, and... You know, after all the technical stuff and just getting to know everyone, um, we just put together a team of, one, not only the people that were interested and who had time, but two, just people that I thought actually had, like, a, a serious passion for, you know, gaming and just wanting to have something outside of just, like, more academic-based clubs, I would say. Something a little bit more creative more fun um but yeah I, I haven't known him super long i just see him in the hallway sometimes but you know now we're getting to know each other a little better but that's the same thing with everyone else on the team well so shout out to aaron for actually being on ground zero of northern valley demarest and paul do not hesitate to interrupt us to do your play-by-plays we agree with uh we had agreed yesterday as broadcasters that paul would actually be put in charge of running play-by-plays and if a fight is happening he will be the one to guide you to understanding what is going on please just take a look at the hero names to know who paul is referring to looks like renekton will be pincered by the cane and morgana renekton in a bit of trouble managed to dash out morgana taking some damage here renekton stunned up but looks like nothing much is going on the ultimate is popped renekton losing health but gaining it back with healing but Renekton flashing away now, knocked up into the air. The rest of the NVOT is here now. Kane trying to run away, but will be taken down in the end. The Pike will be taken down as well. Jax will be falling in the end, and Morgana. Oh, will be and that last down as hit well. lands by Daniel Yi. Congrats to Daniel Yi on a well used ability right there. As you can see, that NVOT was trying to back up the Renekton when Young Jun playing the alligator was actually having quite a bit of difficulty actually holding uh, holding his ground in that pincer 
So Demarest is actually uh, trying their best to put up a valiant fight and catching people when they are on the wrong side of the map. Indeed, that was a very good pincer um, attack there from NVD. It was a little unfortunate that the entirety of NVOT showed up to uh, stop that fight, but otherwise, yeah, I'd love I love seeing these proactive plays from NVD trying to get the upper hand here. So if you are just tuning in to actually watch what is going on, uh, League of Legends is a game about, once again, trying to make your champion the strongest it can be by actually taking down uh, opponent champions and as many computer-generated monsters as possible. So that this is why Renekton, the alligator, was just trying uh, to actually take away that red golem that you saw him fighting before. And now Northern Valley Demarest just took down what is called the Rift Herald, that monster inside the pit. This is all going to help them acquire more gold uh, that allows them to buy powerful items to upgrade their heroes. If you want to see, understand the state of the game, just look in the top menu. This is Mr. Lai talking from NBOT. And once again, I'm here to guide you to understanding how this game works. Thank you for tuning in because I see plenty of people jumping in and out as you check out this very first live stream of Northern Valley Old Japan versus Demaris. And you can actually see right now, Old Japan is up by seven takedowns, all right? Seven takedowns, 13 to six on the top. Meanwhile, you can also see the main goal of the game, which is gold acquisition. And Northern De Valley Demaris is almost up 8,000 gold. An even game usually will not have a discrepancy of more than 2,000. So this is a very much uphill battle by Northern Valley Demers. However, to their credit, they, uh, they are facing off what was on, what is the second place finisher of last year's League of Legends season in the New Jersey arena. Dude. So, all right. If we actually take a look in bottom lane right now, it seems like uh, everyone is getting ready for a fight there are four of every team Ooh, uh, big stun team coming out from the here. amumu going in everyone from northern valley on the back foot now morgana will be taken down and Jin opening up the curtain call but will not find Jin anyone. being blue northern valley old pan Indeed. i just realized we have to keep reminding people about that as we actually see new people walking in so Northern Valley Old Fan in blue getting a great takedown on the opposing team and using this numbers advantage of having more players than the opposing team right now to secure another dragon. A dragon will just upgrade the strength of all the champions, which is the goal of this game. Once one team is strong enough, they will be able to wipe the opposing team, hopefully, and then take down the opposing team main base. Indeed. So over here, we have a moment of calm. It seems like Northern Valley Old Pan is trying to go down middle lane. In blue, Northern Valley is uh, Old Pan is blue. Meanwhile, Demers is represented by red. And you can actually see that Old Pan is up by quite a bit right now. So Demers is on their back foot. But will they be able to actually perhaps acquire a full team takedown of Ultipan, that would be a sure way of coming back into this game. So. But right now, it seems like Ultipan is trying to take down another champion. Jax, in purple, was just taken down. Yeah. Paris, who represents uh, Demarest uh, with Jax and Blitzcrank, the robot, in top lane? Oh, well. So, for Jax, uh, we have Grayson playing. Um, and then for Morgana, we have River. Blitz is played by Aiden, and Patrick is playing Zyra. Got it. So Zyra, right over there. Pa shout out to Patrick as he's trying to take down this tower. But he understands that he is underpowered compared to... Is that... Oh, uh, who is that? LeBlanc? Yes. To LeBlanc, who is trying to chase him down. LeBlanc being played by him, Sam Park, I believe, no. is LeBlanc. Sam no, is my apologies. Yeah. LeBlanc being played by what is the username? Uh, I big, can't see it right now. Kelvin Ung playing LeBlanc. All right, Kelvin. Actually, uh, most of our current team in Northern Valley Old Japan in blue. Like, yeah. Oh, Paul, can you cover what's going on okay. right over here? Looks like the mid turret was taken down by this Rift Herald. Looks like it took another charge off. 
and they will take it down but that's a lot of damage sustained onto this red turret here so red in is demarest NBOT is blue, and it seems like, once again, NBOT taking down Demarest's structures bit by bit as they are trying to get ready for a team fight and trying to, once again, find the best way they can in order to actually continue keeping their gold lead. As their characters become stronger, they might be able to get a full team takedown of Demarest. Looks and like another fight happens, is breaking down. Over. And two on three, actually, on the red team will be taken down with one in return taken down on the blue team but NVOT taking the better of that team fight all right another tower coming down that means one tower left for northern valley demarest in red that one final tower is guarding uh the base of northern valley demarest and if that tower uh comes down then northern valley ultipan can start hitting the main structures of demarest's base if the main structure of Demers's base that giant crystal that Paul just showcased is taken down then the game will end so old Japan having a powerful showing right now making their way through this map and taking down Demers's structures bit by bit now they're also taking away the gold acquisition uh, of the monsters in Demers's jungle but it seems like when Demers's team is inside a bush they are invisible and right now Demers is looking to try to stop Old Japan from doing anything else. Ooh, Pike oh. caught out here and will just be blown up and taken down. Good response uh, from Demarest. Northern Valley Demarest. Demarest being able to protect their upper jungle. That is what it is is referred to where all these monsters inside the jungle once again are a source of gold every monster that a team is able to take down gives them more gold oh trying to defend the top a moo -moo. we Blitz have a taken moo -moo. down really low will he be able to walk out no he will and him sam park defending the top blue tower for nbot where nbot is blue and demarest is in red if you uh, take a look at the state of the game right now, you could actually see that blue team is winning by comparing that little gold icon on the top to the gold icon on the right. This shows how much gold a team has acquired and how powerful, potentially, their characters are. So Northern Valley Old Japan being very ahead right now. While Demarest, once again, putting up a valiant showing as the new player on the block as they are representing their school in Garden State Esports for the very first time. Indeed. Now it looks like um, some positioning. Pike uh, Kane caught out, taken down by the LeBlanc in preparation for this dragon here. And they really seem to want this dragon as it will grant them the dragon soul. A massive buff to their team if taken. And yes, they will secure it in the end. And they will gain the Hextech Dragon Soul. And as a reminder for this game, the more powerful the champions become uh, is the primary goal of the game. Every champion is responsible for finding ways to acquire gold or to be able to make their team stronger in some way, shape, or form in order to take down the opponent's base eventually. Now we are entering what is called Endgame as the heroes are strong enough to take down these mega large monsters like this creature right here known as the baron paul what does the baron do uh the baron grants a massive buff to the team that takes it down in this case northern valley old japan as they just took it down they will gain a massive buff to their base abilities such as um their health their armor not their health excuse me their um they will gain, um, sorry, they'll gain massive attack buffs and they will also buff their minions as you can see here as they're coated in this uh, purple aura. And yep. it will allow the minions them are the computer generated monsters that once again will provide gold to whichever team, uh, to whichever opposing player defeats the minion. However, when the minions are buffed, it's going to be a little bit more difficult and it gives the minions a chance to start attacking the opposing structures. When all opposing, uh, when the main opposing structure is destroyed, 
that is when the game ends. Ooh, Old Japan using their strength to see if they could actually make their way to taking down these last few structures. There's one tower guarding the middle lane for Demaris. Demaris in red, and it seems like a fight might be getting ready to break out. Ooh, Jin taken, taken down by a great hook from this Blitzcrank. The Blitzcrank will fall in the end, and Mumu goes in, stunning the entire team of MVD. Jax will take down the pike and fighting for his life here. LeBlanc will be taken down in the end. Wow. Jax absolutely turning this fight. A triple kill for Northern Valley Demers. Renek then trying to go in, dives under Jax in the tower. Jax fighting and low on health Morgana. Looking for a little more, but wow. That was amazing for Northern Valley Demers. Exactly. Paris, how are you feeling right now? That was nearly a full team takedown. Honestly, I am very proud of what my team is being able to do. I I can tell that despite the fact that, you know, there's a big disparity between the gold and just the kills and everything, but they're still keeping their spirits high. They're doing their very best, and it really shows that they're working together as a team. And honestly, that's all I could ask for. Just it, It's our very first game. I'm very happy we're, we're, with where we are. We're definitely going to be able to like talk about this more, debrief after the games. But for now, I'm very happy to say that everyone's at least doing their best and having fun while doing it. Yeah, Northern Valley in blue, Demarest in red. You can see that Demarest is not giving up despite how big of a score difference you see on that top menu. 23 takedowns for Northern Valley Old Japan and 12 takedowns for Demarest. And you can see that Old Japan has a lot more gold that they've acquired in this game to make their characters as strong as possible. But there is a really important aspect. When the game goes into the end game, uh, the gold matters far less because everyone is going to start getting the, uh, getting the most items that their characters could possibly get and when characters cannot get any stronger the teams will be even for uh, future fights seems like another fight is about to break out Renekton and Jax fighting a little bit Jax will be locked up manages to jump away Pike hooked by the Blitzcrack now but he will fall in the end LeBlanc taken down by the Morgana and Jax will be taken down as well Morgana in a little bit of trouble now. Pike going into the back line. Morgana will be taken down now. Pike seems like he will be falling down as well. And Renekton going in onto this Kane. Kane trying to run away now. It seems that he will get a huge knockup. Takes down the Renekton. And oh. he will wow, not that get Kane the from Demarest. Paris, who's Kane again? Kane is Aaron. Aaron, what a great job by Aaron being able to actually use the overextension of Old Japan as they chose to fight under a tower. A tower every uh, will always defend the team that they are a part of. So red team, Demers' tower, will attack Northern Valley Old Japan if they are fighting underneath it. And the tower will hit harder than anything else in the game. So... Old Japan choosing to fight underneath that tower was a risk they were willing to take, but Aaron managing on the red team as Kane to be able to take back quite a bit by taking down almost three hands from Old Japan. Indeed. A great show. Yeah, so at the here. end of matches for Garden State Esports, the teams are meant to actually vote. For the opposing team's MVP. Right now, Aaron is having amazing showing for that. Ooh, Jin caught out by this Blitzcrank here. Will he be taken down? Yes, he will be shut down by the Zyra. Shobi, a great hook from him. The Blitzcrank. If you're just tuning in right now, red is Northern Valley Demarest. And if you saw that big plus 1,000, that was 1,000 gold going to the person who took down NBOT Jin, played by Daniel Yi. Zyra will be hooked so now. Right Amumu now, going in, finds one. Kane is stunned. He will go into the Umbral passive. And it seems that Morgana, a little bit of trouble, will back off now. Now NVD. On the back foot now, running away, their health bars are really low. Pike and Amumu looking for something. Pike gets caught up. Amumu going back in onto the Blitzcrank, and he will be taken down. All right, so it seems like 
red northern valley demarest was trying their best to be able to hold back old pan and prevent old pan from getting another dragon this is known as the elder dragon the the elder dragon is going to give northern valley players a special ability if a team takes down a elder dragon it will be able to automatically eliminate any opposing uh member that is low in health without any special ability if they just walk near a person with low health that person will be executed so old pan seeming like they are ready to finish off this game Indeed. with the elder dragon buff they are going to look to take down this last central tower and if they could take down that tower there's only two towers left right in front of the opposing main base will they end this game right now it's looking a little close I'm not sure kane and oh blitzcrank will be taken down immediately amumu going into the back line zyra will fall jack's trying to fight back with everything that he has it will not find the pike and it is an ace and for it's NBOT. like this is a game going to nbot as they take down the towers them are still putting up a showing running themselves into the team trying to put up a battle but once again with the sheer amount of gold difference it seems like old pan is able to actually just clean it up and finally with all opposing uh enemies dead from red's northern valley demaris old pan is able to take down demaris's base the first game goes to old pan indeed all right so wow what a first game paris your team sticking it uh sticking up to the very 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 end of that match never giving up i love the spirit over there honestly it was such an interesting game to watch just watching everything unfold it, it's incredible actually just being able to see like both teams giving it their all and I don't know. It was just amazing, in my opinion. That was so exciting. Indeed. Great showing. For Seems like we are getting ready for game two as uh, our caster, Paul, is going to jump into the game. So I wait for an invite for the... Uh... Let's see. Uh, they will be starting the um, the lobby soon, and once everything is set up... Northern Valley ready. Old Japan, actually. Uh, as their advisor, I'm able to actually talk to the team after the game is over, and they wanted to actually nominate Northern Valley Demaris' Zyra as MVP of game number one. Wow. Harris, who is Zyra? Tell us a little bit about her. Uh, like... You, in terms of like the actual of the actual player from northern valley demarest oh well patrick patrick is um <laughs> patrick is very um fun person i've actually i'm personally friends with patrick um he is a very artistic individual and he really loves league of legend uh, uh league of legends he just he plays it all the time um but it, it's more of something for fun, although this year he, he really wanted to commit to something a little bit more. And he figured that uh, the best place to go was, you know, choosing something that he already loves. But taking it a little bit more seriously, maybe trying his best to grow as a player, but also find a community outside of, like, all of his other friends. It's his last year. He's a senior. Uh, so, yeah, he, he's doing pretty well right now very happy where he's at not only in his life but also just you know yeah so as paul gets ready to go into the lobby paris if you want to let patrick know that uh patrick was playing the poison ivy looking character she was the one with vines and uh the one who was actually uh playing i believe against paul was it uh was patrick a top laner i'm at mid laner or bottom ADC. laner she was or uh, patrick zyro was the 80 carry playing in bottom lane last round and it seems like once again old pan really uh wanted to pay respects to patrick and his valiant attempt that past game Paris, thank you so much for letting that. me know 
So, as we get ready for game two, once again, welcome to the stream. For those of you who are jumping in, we've seen actually tons of people jump in and jump out over the past, uh, past, how long has it actually been now? Yeah, past uh, like one hour. So thank you guys once again for jumping into the stream, checking out your friends as they are trying to actually play against Northern Valley Demers. In the future, we are hoping that maybe we could get some live live events in the major auditorium where you can actually see our teams play against uh play off against each other perhaps even live but once again demarest is new to the scene and old japan we currently don't have the setup quite ready yet to be able to do an event like that but tune in for future events and uh paul thank you once again as a former member of northern valley old japan esport team and one of the ground zero members for actually helping with setting up the stream with your technologies from what rutgers university yep rutgers here at rutgers i have a rutgers yeah so yeah, I'm glad okay. Rutgers' uh, Wi-Fi is holding up appropriately right now. I know some other alumni have shown a great amount of interest in wanting to watch this game. So for those of you tuning in, round one of NBOT versus NBD goes to Old Tapan. Old Tapan having a powerful showing. Also having been the second place finisher of Garden State Esports from last year. While Demarest is doing their best, actually, as the new kid on the block, bringing up a challenge to uh, bringing, up, uh, bringing themselves up as a new challenger to the Garden State esports scene. So we are going to be explaining League of Legends to all new people who are actually jumping in. If you wish to actually watch and hear about how Patrick and Aaron and... Uh, other members of the Northern Valley Demarest team is actually playing. We are going to be actually covering their plays a bit by bit. And likewise, we're going to cover Old Pan's players, such as who you see right now. You could actually see that on the left is Spaced Worm. Spaced Worm is actually Youngjun Bay, senior in Northern Valley Old Pan. Santic is Him Sam Park. Uh, Big Poppy 8 is Kelvin Ung, also a senior. July Yi is Daniel Yi, also a senior. And Sup is not Tool is our junior, Wan Jae Sung. So they, you can see their ranks right now. A lot of them are platinum and high golds. And they are once again looking forward for a great season. And we're looking forward to game two against Demaris. Uh, would you like to introduce your team, Paris? And Paris, why don't you introduce yourself as well? This is Mr. Lai. You can't see my face, but I am actually the advisor to Northern Valley Old Japan and Paris. Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Paris. I am the president of the esports club at NVD. And for our team, we have a bunch of lovely individuals. Uh, Amber Prince is um, played by Aiden. Um, and Iron Boss is going to be, well, you know, uh, we, we just, I think that we just call them by their character names, but that's Aaron. Uh, Aaron's very lovely. Lily in the Valley is River. And um, right now the other two aren't in, but uh, Patrick will um, join eventually. And so will Grayson. I'll let you know just based on like their, their player names when they pop in. But, um... Yeah, I mean, most of them are golds. Uh, we have a couple, I think, that are unranked. But overall, we're just trying to make a good name for ourselves, start off the season as best as we can. And then hopefully over the course of, like, the next couple weeks, we can just improve as a whole and make a name of ourselves. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few teams for you guys to face off against in the upcoming days. We hope to see you guys in playoffs when the time comes. I have high hopes for our team, and once again, with Demaris, as you guys start up your scene, we are wishing you the best. Thank you so much, and same to you guys. I hope to see you at playoffs as well. You know, very, always competitive, but in a friendly way, for now, except during playoffs, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will accept that challenge, Paris, and one day, hopefully, we could have a in-game, face-to-face, Esport event. Uh, that has been hosted by a few other school districts already. But once again, our district is working its way up there bit by bit. So each one of you viewers out there right now, we appreciate you guys tuning in to actually watch this channel and to 
look at Paul's smiling face as he hears my commentary, and you cannot see mine, but Paul is going to actually be, once again, the face of this show. Paul, give everyone a wave and introduce yourself. Hello, hello. My name is Paul. Um, I am a NBOT alumni. Um, I've come back to help out with uh, streaming and casting these games. Uh, very excited to be back. Very happy. And yeah, I'm just here to uh, help uh, brighten up the viewer experience, if, uh, if possible. Paul is underselling himself. In fact, Paul was one of the Ground Zero founding members of, of eSports e for Northern Valley Old Japan, joining our team and representing them in a second place finish in 2021 when Old Japan started eSports Club for the very first time. Paul actually played alongside of eSports Club founder Rocco Mazzo, who is right now playing full scholar for St. Clair University for League of Legends. Rocco is a Grand Master in rank. Grand Master actually being a rank that puts him in the top 0.1% of best players in North America. So Paul actually was a huge part of that movement, and we would not have this stream without him, actually. Because without Paul right here, I would have no way of being able to host the stream whatsoever. So thank you so much, Paul. Glad to be here. Right. And yeah, and Rocco, if you're watching this, we miss you and we wish you the best in the collegiate scene. Uh, they just took down actually the second best team in the Canadian League because I believe St. Clair's is a college in Ontario. So wishing also the best to NBOT founder Rocco Mazzo. Keep doing your best and we will keep doing our best. All right, jumping into draft phase now. Let's see what these um, these players will pick. Now going for that pike again for Sup is not tool. All right. So once again, if you're tuning in uh, to actually check it out right now, I know some people are jumping in, jumping out. We are going to be repeating once again the point of League of Legends uh, for new people because we understand some of you guys are going to jump in, check it out, support the stream, and then jump out. And we accept that. Thank you. It helps to just know that people are interested in wanting to support our players. So uh, the point, once again, of League of Legends is that we have two opposing teams represented by five players each who are going to play these different fictional characters with, uh, with all respective special abilities. For example, if you look on the top left, Pike, chosen by Youngjun Bay, Spaced Worm. Pike is actually a un is it what? A undead or spirit pirate? Yeah. It and his special ability is in fact being able to fish line other heroes towards him. And when he actually does that, there is uh the ability for the opposing team to close around the enemy. Meanwhile, if uh, he uses his most powerful ability as Pike. Young Jun will actually activate the ability to uh, acquire more gold from opposing players because every person that Pike takes down, Pike shares the gold distribution with all of his allies. So this is a quick way of turning one takedown into two takedowns worth of gold. So the purpose of League of Legends, if you're just tuning in, is to make as much gold as possible. The more gold that you're able to make, the more powerful items your team is able to buy. And this makes your team much more competitive in team fights. Every time you take down the opposing team, you're more likely able to start destroying the opposing team's base. Yeah. So Paris, actually... When did you last play League of Legends? Ah, uh, seems like Paris might have had to step away during this draft phase, which makes sense uh, because we all probably need to actually step away occasionally to manage the team. I do that uh, sometimes. I've just gone on mute while Paul has actually taken the mic away from me. So thank you, Paul, for actually once again trying to keep our audience entertained. Of course. <laughs> as the face of our stream. Great. But Paul, when did you play League of Legends? How oh. did you get so good? Um, I uh, played about six or seven years ago. Or I started around when I was in sixth grade um, in middle school. Uh, my brother introduced me to the game. And uh, yeah, it's just I've played a lot ever since then. 
god. Ooh, wait, am I mute? Nope, I'm not on mute right now. So, wow, since sixth grade. Yeah. Oh, there is a shout out from uh, Demaris. Demaris wishes to choose MVP to be Santic, Kim Sam Park. Yeah, so Santic was the chosen MVP of of uh, by Demaris to uh, show who they believed on Old Japan was doing the best. Uh, Him Sam, do you have actually any words you'd like for me to echo for you? All right, so Him Sam Park, uh, they are in the middle of choosing draft right now, and I should probably give them that time and space. But Him Sam Park says, uh, "quote uh, he does uh, he thinks that the entire team did really well, and he wants to actually share some of that glory with his fellow teammates." That's a very good uh, showing. That is so sweet. Oh. Yeah, so thank you, Demaris, for actually sharing that information with us. Paris, I'm happy that you were able to get your mic back online and running because technology issues will always actually happen and we are going to just have to do our best to overcome them. Of course, so, bound to happen. <laughs> yeah, so it, it seems like I might have caused a little bit of trouble for my old band team by interrupting them in the middle of draft. I hope that I did not make them pick an incorrect character by interviewing Him Sam in the middle of that match. So if Him Sam, you ever watch this replay, I want to give you my apologies. Right, and it seems like both. But that being said, Him Sam, I know you are going to do great in game two as well. So Demaris, do your best, and we are going to look forward to a awesome match as we can see the timer ticking away. There is a spectator delay to avoid any uh, uh, people from being able to accidentally watch the stream to get insider knowledge. So we are going to have to actually wait for this uh, delay to actually end before we can get started. So Paris, we were actually asking earlier, when did you last time play League of Legends? Yeah, so um, <laughs> what actually happened, I was supposed to play with some of the team yesterday. But my PC could not run. It would not run. So um, instead, I just watched them all play together, get to know each other a little bit better, which was fine with me. But before that, I don't think I've touched League in about a year or so. It's been a while. I've gotten a little bit busy with work and school, you know, just typical high school things. But I am I think I'm going to get back into it honestly especially after today it, it's very fun um but also i just want to you know if i'm if i'm a sub I'm, i still need to know at least the basic mechanics of the game and figure it out a little bit more again yeah so i actually started esports uh if you didn't hear the story from the beginning uh i actually started esports from a while ago back when uh, Rocco Mazzo was starting up the club, and I decided to just try to see what the experience of trying to climb at a game would be like. It is a difficult experience, but I believe that it's one that could be meaningful to a lot of our players, because where, where better to actually practice overcoming uh, the very difficult emotions of trying to pursue something you're passionate about than in a video game where it's actually quite safe to experience failure. Although the emotions are high because of the sheer amount our players actually care about being able to do their best, uh, they get to actually also practice really key skills, such as the skills of being able to actually learn and develop relationships alongside of uh, guiding emotions, such as maybe anger, maybe disappointment, and finding healthy coping mechanisms for each and one of them. And where better to actually practice this than in a game as opposed to, say, in your first workforce, right? So uh, I always try to let people know it's all about developing life skills when actually practicing esports because these skills do not just end at the game. They go well beyond it. Yes. And Paris, how's your team actually finding the esports scene? Are you guys filled with a lot of anxiety, excitement, enthusiasm, a little bit of all of it? I feel like it's more of like a little bit of all of it. Um, we're still trying to figure everything out. Um, most people haven't even done like league, like they haven't played League of Legends in a competitive setting. So all of it's a little bit new. But um, I think that 
with everything, like all the added components of being in a competition, kind of makes it a lot more real for them. And it, it kind of just tells them, oh, this is a very serious commitment. Um, and I think that that's a very good thing to have. It's definitely going to motivate them to do better, uh, to practice and just like work together as a team, build that team chemistry and just want to improve overall. So I, I think that they're, uh, of course, a little nervous. It's their first game, but I think that overall they're having a really good time. The experience has been great. OT has been very helpful to us, like starting the team and like starting the club in general. So we're we're all very thankful for that. Um, I think that this was really needed for the the Norsemen. Honestly, it it's just very refreshing. It's awesome to actually. We see the golden Norsemen collaboration in esports. And once again, it just shows how when people have similar passions, they're able to actually take those passions and do amazing things with it. And Paris, I, I'm speaking about you right here because I know uh, you have poured so much effort into getting this club up and running from seeing the administration about uh, club approval to setting up first uh, meetings entirely by yourself. So keep it up, Paris. It's amazing to see what you are building in Demarest. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. I just want to be able to like set up something with a good enough foundation so that when I leave, I know that it's in good hands and that everything will run a little bit smoother. So if I have to take on most of like the, the brunt work, just figure everything out this first year, that's what it'll take, then that's fine with me. I love the uh, your spirit of, your spirit of Looks once like again- the fight is breaking in out here. Oh. Zyra will be taken down by the pike. First blood going over to Sup is not tool. This pike here if in the If you are here. watching the stream right now, bear in mind that blue is old pan. That is Demarest. So we have the Demarest Norsemen giving up a first blood very, very early in the game. The first blood is worth more gold. And if you're unaware of what League of Legends is all about, it's a game where it's a, the characters are meant to try to get as much gold as they can to become more powerful so that they could buy these very powerful items and then enter battle and have a better likelihood of taking down the opposing opposing characters. If the entire opposing team is taken down and is not there to defend their buildings, then we could take down buildings one by one until the opposing base is finally destroyed. It seems like I'm getting a comment from my team that I am laggy. Yes, it, your voice is breaking up a lot. Is it just recently that my voice started breaking up? Maybe like, yeah, maybe about a minute or so ago. Got Looks it. like the well, fight is breaking I'm out in this to... top lane. Olaf trying to go in onto this Nunu, falling low. Aatrox and Pantheon both near full HP. Nunu will be able to escape. It seems like nothing much will happen. All right. Uh, so... If you are just logging in, bear in mind, blue is Northern Valley Old Pan, red is Northern Valley Demarest, and uh, we have Paul Kim, original member of the Northern Valley Old Pan team, myself, advisor to Northern Valley Old Pan, and Paris, president of Northern Valley Demarest Esport Club. We are your streamers for today, and there is a shout out from Jillian Tan, Esport president of Old Pan. And uh, she wanted to say thanks for all who are watching at this moment and for those who have been supporting the esports club and for all your future support. She also then said, Mr. Lai, you are lagging. <laughs> so lagging, in case you are unfamiliar with terminology, just means that my voice is cutting out. Oh, looks like another fight will be going on in this bot lane. Zyra taking down really low. Uh, Pike and Misfortune trying to get a little bit more, but no, instead, Pike will be the one to fall, and Misfortune will be getting turned on, trying to run away from this Leona here, but, oh, Misfortune will fall in the end, Zyra living with a sliver of health, and will be able to walk out with her life. Meanwhile, in the top Good lane... Job. 
Patrick from Demarest. Once again, uh, showing his Zyra plays in a way where he's able to actually capitalize on working with his teammate to taking uh, to taking down the old Japan team. Indeed. Yeah, so right now we are in what is known as the early game phase of League of Legends. The goal of the early game phase is once again to be present for the, uh, taking down as many of these computer-generated mobs monsters that you see known as minions the more of these minions taken down the more gold your character gets the more gold your character gets the stronger items you can actually buy and if you want to add a little bit of gold on top coordinate with your teammates to take down an enemy Indeed. seems like a fight mm -hmm. nope a little trading. skirmish was going down in the middle with kelvin ong oh Ooh, looks like an another in bot will be breaking out but pike will just be able to dash out away from the leona Northern Valley trying to back out from that fight. So we are going to have to see how this game goes. Right now, the game is still very even as you look at the scoreboard on Ooh. the very top. Santic falling down will be taken down by NVD. Now, NVD will claim the dragon instead of NVOT. A great mis a big mistake from NVOT. Vex now caught up trying to run away from the NVD, but now NVD will instead be getting turned on by NVOT, Pike and Misfortune coming in to try and save the day, Zyra in a bit of a sticky situation here, will she be able to walk out, she does not get hooked, Pike holding that for too long, Pike going in now, and will take down the Zyra, Leona going back in, now she is in trouble, and will not be able to walk out with her life. NVOT is blue, and they just got a big payout from chasing down each and every one of the Demaris players. Meanwhile, in top lane, we could actually see uh, Young Jun Bay and. Okay, Olaf Young going Jun in Bay. onto this Aatrox. Unstoppable. Will now be in a bit of trouble. Goes away and will be able to just run away from the fight. So, even with the help of Him Sam Park playing Nunu, that big blue ball throwing character, we could actually see that it was not enough to take down the uh, opposing, De uh, to take down Demaris's top laner. Paris, who is Demaris's top laner? It would be Grayson. Um, All right. so that would have to be Amber Prince 3. Got it. Amber Prince 3 playing a character named Olaf. Olaf is known for being very, very sturdy, uh, not being affected by opposing characters that try to slow him down, and instead is known for being excellent at chasing down the weakest characters on a team. So, Grayson, let's see your skills in top lane over time. Oh, we missed a Ooh. takedown in middle lane by... Kelvin Ung playing Vex. So it seems like, once again, there's going to be a number of different fights going on, but we are trying to not watch everything too quickly so that new people checking out the stream will know what's going on. A fight is breaking down in bottom lane. Yep, Leona taken down really low. Will be taken down a great cue from the Misfortune. Now Zyra on the back foot will be taken down and as that well. that is a double kill twice the amount of gold and on top of that they're now actually taking the rest of those monsters in top lane we have a fight too is this going to be a one-on-one -on -one? no him uh him stand playing nunu is trying to back up his teammate all right so it looks like once again a lot of blue Northern Valley Old Pan is coming up to try to take down this monster. The goal of League of Legends is once again to take down, uh, to get as much gold as you can by taking down computer generated monsters for that gold and for uh, appropriate uh, buffs and increases to your character's power. So when you get that gold, you could spend it in base and be able to buy new and powerful items just like uh what you could actually see on the bottom of the screen 
Meanwhile, you can see Old Pan is up just so slightly. Oh, are they going to Looks actually take down the out Lux? here? Will fall down to the pipe. Old Pan and Blue now Pantheon does trying take down to, Red Lux. Yep, trying to take it back. Pantheon will get the kill and will be Demarest able to walk out as well. follows up by taking one back. Indeed. It looks like a pincer is coming up from the bottom. Demaris in red. Yep. But no, Nunu and Vex will be able to just walk out. Rift Herald does get the charge. All that gold going over to the Nunu and Willem. So that monster that was just dropped was what Old Japan had actually killed earlier. That is a special, powerful monster known as the Rift Herald. And when you take down the Rift Herald, you are able to actually summon it as your pet for a moment. And when you summon it, it will try to destroy the opposing enemy buildings. The goal of League of Legends, once again, is about becoming powerful so you can destroy the opposing base. So taking down those buildings is extremely important. A fight is breaking out. The bottom lane, yes, indeed. Misfortune and Zyra both trading flashes. And it seems nothing more will happen. But Pantheon is here. Looks like they're trying to go in again. Leona will miss the route. Now Pike. On the back foot, trying to dash away, and will be able to get out with his life. But it seems... Old Pan's in blue, Demaris is in red, and you can once again see the names of these characters by looking at the screen and reading that tiny text Ooh. right in front. We have Him Sam with Nunu throwing the ball right into Lux. And now it seems like the team is getting ready for a fight near that red dragon that you see on screen. The red dragon is a powerful monster that, if taken, will help your team get a powerful upgrade. So, everyone wants to be able to get the team upgrades, which is shown on the top uh, of the scoreboard in these little icons below the gold. Once four of these upgrades are getting, uh, are received, you receive something known as the Dragon Soul Upgrade, which is a very powerful percentile improvement to all characters on the team that acquires that powerful upgrade. Looks like Pantheon so is going in onto this bot lane, trying to look for something. We'll meet the Nunu and Wulump. Now he seems to be a little caught here. Flashes away, Leona. We'll walk out. A lot of posture so around this dragon right that, now. Yeah, Flash is that golden ability you just saw. It allows the character to teleport, but they're only allowed to use it once every five minutes. Meaning, if you use a Flash, you cannot use it again for a whole five minutes. This puts your character at risk of dying to future fights. And now it looks like Old Man in Blue is trying to take down Red. Zyra will be caught out here and will be taken down by the Misfortune now. Some fighting in the top side. Aatrox will be run down by this Olaf. And it's very close, but Aatrox will take the takedown in the end. Now Pantheon caught down here will fall to the Nunu. Now Vex trying to look for a little bit more. Lux will take the barrier and Vex will not find the kill. So Youngjun Bay and... And top lane was able to take down Grayson in Northern Valley Demaris. Meanwhile, we have another one-on-one -on -one fight here between the Pike and the Leona. Pike is just stalling Leona in order for his teammates to catch up. Ooh, we got Kelvin Ung through. trying to help. And Kelvin Ung takes the kill on Leona. This means he is going to get that 300 gold to once again go back and make his character more powerful than before. So you can see the score right now in the top. The score, uh, the way League of Legends works. If you are a new member tuning in, is it will show you which team has the most amount of gold acquired through both the takedowns and that gold counter that Paul is pointing to. With more gold, you could buy more powerful items. With more powerful items, you could take down opposing te uh, team members. And as you do, you might have an opportunity to take down the opposing bases. So right here, we could actually see uh, in top lane, they are still just staying in lane and trying to take down computer-generated monsters for the sake of making more gold. While uh, we could see there's a Northern Valley Old Pan teammate in blue who is hanging around in this river. River is that diagonal uh, strip of land that goes across the entire map. And it is a quick and fast way for teammates to be able to actually help you out so over here we can actually see once again 
Uh, there is no major action happening because we are still in early mid lane, uh, mid game phase where no towers have been taken. So everyone is just focusing on trying to make their characters as powerful as they can, taking down computer generated monsters and potentially looking for a good fight. But there is no reason to fight right now. Uh, if they can because Demarest is behind. They are going to want to try to just safely try to catch up in gold. All right. So in bot lane, it seems like Leona wants to try to hold back the two Northern Valley uh, players, but we will we will just have to see how they're going to do this in top lane. We could see the fight is breaking out. Olaf a little low, but will go unstoppable. Lux taken down immediately, and Olaf will be turned on in the end two kills going over to nvot in quick succession all right old japan is actually having a great showing in this next match you could actually see that old Japan has a great uh great money advantage in the top of the scoreboard they are now going to take down another major monster known as the rift herald paul can you go to that rift herald as this major monster is taken down, it gives gold and a major buff that the players can use to try to win the game with. Ooh, so Pantheon, over here, catch another champion. Pack. Yep. Pantheon will fall in the end. Kill going over to the pike. Now they will be able to use this Rift Herald in the mid lane, I believe. Yes, they will drop it and summon And that now we can see Old Pan's going to take down a tower if possible. I might be, once again, cutting in and out. Pike falling a little low, but we'll be able to leave. All right. And once again, you could actually see that after taking down the tower, Old Pan is actually going to go back because gold not used to buy powerful items with is essentially wasted gold. So you have to go back to base if you want to be able to get that powerful upgrade in items. Like Meanwhile, it seems like somebody might be getting caught. No, he will be able to walk out. Grayson walking out. All right, All right Demarest, once again, try. Uh, they are currently looking for these little items on the ground that Old Pan has been placing called a ward. It allows you to see the enemy players in that area of the map. So destroying the opposing player's little drops like a ward will be able to actually allow you to more safely walk around in that region as you want to position to help your teammates. So Demaris is taking it nice and slow right now trying to look for a opportunity in order to actually once well, opportunity again, get may as have been found onto this vex as he is being slowed by this olaf flashing away pantheon with a stun vex will be able to live and pantheon now in a bit of trouble being slowed flashes away aatrox looking for a little bit more lux now in the front will be pulled back and taken down leona and in a little that bit of is the fish line of pike he Leona in a little bit of Pike. trouble. Pike looking for another hook. Leona will be able to get away. Leona going in again, flashing away. Little strange play. Oh, there. Leona has an ability that allows her to fight into the enemy, but fighting without an equal number of members on the Demers team is a bad idea. Old Pan seems to be able to take down a number of structures in Demaris's base old pan in blue taking down this red inhibitor Jeez. so taking that down will give old pan's team another major buff known as super minions the super minion is a powerful minion that can actually then start helping old pan uh block against towers towers are the most damaging structure in the game and if a tower chooses to actually hit a champion it will very likely kill that champion. So Old Pan once again being able to secure an enormous advantage. <laughs> Meanwhile, Demarest still choosing to play safe. You could see Grayson as Olaf from Demarest in top lane, uh, just trying to once again find ways to catch up. Meanwhile, the other Demarest players are also throughout the map trying to find different ways to once again acquire as much 
minion based gold as they can so the more gold they acquire maybe they could actually catch up but we could see in the top scoreboard 18 to 4 is a tough place to come back from because old uh old pan is just going to have that much more gold and powerful items compared to demarest the more gold you get the more items you can buy indeed northern valley all right up by about 12,000 gold right now. No, down to a little, about, maybe about 11,000 and a half. Now Leona caught oh. out by this Lunu, and Willem will fall to Nunu. Zyra looking for the Vex. Vex taking a lot of damage. Vex looking to turn, misses the ultimate. Zyra will take an even trade with this Vex here. All right, so this game is swinging heavily in Old Pan's favor as they are once again still taking down these very, very powerful monsters and using all of the upgrades and gold acquired from each one of these major takedowns in order to actually increase the advantage that they have against Demarest. Demarest uh, is not going to be able to come back unless they find a way to take down the entire Old Pan team. So... Northern Valley taking down. So Paul, uh, my team is asking one thing of me. So once again, can you take over the stream for a time being? Will do. All right. So Paris, what are your thoughts about the game state right now? Honestly, I am kind of, I don't know what to think of it, honestly. I'm personally, I'm just enjoying the gameplay that's going on. Okay, Olaf um, taking down the pike. Oh. Nuno and Willem going in, but three kills will be given over for the price of one for MVOT. Okay, Pantheon going in. Misfortune using the ultimate. And pushing into the base now, Pantheon. Trying to defend with the Leona. Pantheon will be taken down, Leona will be dived on, and that is just an ace for NVOT. And it seems like they will be able to end this game, maybe. But Zyra and Lux coming back up. Vex taken down in the end. Nunu and Misfortune trying to end the game here. Olaf, Zyra, and Lux maybe trying to defend. But in the end... We'll see what happens. Olaf going in now onto this fortune. Nunu trying to defend this fortune with his life. Olaf will be taken the down. Game in the game looking like it's coming to a close. Indeed it is. Demers and hanging on by a thread. The game ends when that last structure is destroyed. Ooh, and that is the and end of the game. Old Tapan takes the series 2-0 against Demarest. This is, uh, and once again, thank you Demarest for bringing up a uh, League of Legends team to the New Jersey League. We understand that you guys are a new team, but we love the spirit that you actually put in. Old Japan actually wanting to vote another MVP for, for game two. And they said for game two, their chosen MVP is actually uh, Paris. It would be your uh, Leona who is playing support. So that would be Shobi. So who is Shobi, Paris? Uh, Paris might, must be talking to their team, but my uh, old man actually had a few comments for the Leona uh, player of Demarest. They wanted to say that they thought uh, Shobi as Leona actually played some amazing pressure in the be uh, beginning of their game uh, and also managed to actually fulfill her role as a Leona inside of majority of the game. So they wanted to actually give a shout out to Shobi. So... Uh, but Paris, uh, once again, we know that you're probably talking to your team right now. If you ha do come back, feel free to share any comments you have with us, and then we will go from there. But in the meantime, guys, everyone, thank you so much for actually tuning in and watching the stream. So once again, esports is a very, very new scene. We appreciate everyone who is trying to support the scene by jumping in and checking things out. Paul Kim, thank you so much because this broadcast is not doable without actually having you here using OBS software and trying your best to actually support 
your underclassmen as a former alumnus of NBO as an alumnus of NBOT and a former League of Legends players from the 2021 season. And all right, so maybe Paris will be able to jump in. I'll give her a, one quiet moment. Got it. Seems like Paris is going to be busy wrapping up with her team. So thank you for checking out this very first stream of NBOT versus Demaris on the esports scene. We're looking forward to more collaborations in the future, and we wish everyone the best night. Have a great day, everyone. Paul, do you have any final words? Um, yeah, it was a great series. It was uh, my pleasure uh, casting for everybody that tuned in. Um, I hope to see you next time. Uh, just a quick word. Um, down in the description of this video, there is a Google form. Um, if you would like to see any changes implemented, if you could see, um, if you could think up of any improvements or anything that you like, um, please uh, write them into that Google form and we will do our best to accommodate to any changes to help improve our stream. But otherwise, so thank, thank you. you to all 94 viewers who essentially checked out the stream for six minutes. That's once again, we really appreciate it. We're looking forward to more streaming-based events in the future. And I also just want to give a quick shout-out to three people who have helped make this a reality. Uh, so thank you to Dave Marconi in Northern Valley Demarest, who is advising for the Demarest team. I know he's been working with Paris, and it's been a lot of effort on their half getting it all started. We also wanted to thank uh we also want to send a thank you out uh thank to our founder rock Amazu, who's currently playing for st Clair in the collegiate esports scene on full scholarship and finally uh i also wanted to give a thank you to our club presidents uh jillian tan and ethan hong who have been working tirelessly alongside of secretary noah and a number of others on the executive team who have created the NBOT esports program and is continuing to try to find the best way to actually assist and grow this program. So, all right. I hope everyone has a great day and we will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. That is the end of the stream. Okay. The stream. Hello, hello. hello.